I'm going to try not to fluff my lines, as they say in uh, football. Bon dia e benvinguts a tothom. Estimats administradors, professors, personal, e meus companys estudiants, finalment, aquí estem. Felicitacions. Me llamo Ben y es un honor hablar con vosotros como vuestro orador. Hoy no estoy aquí simplemente como un estudiante del programa Mundus Map, pero como un estudiante de eBay, la institución que se encuentra entre los mejores programas de posgrado, el producto del consorcio excelente de cinco universidades y la Fundación Sido, y para nosotros, mis amigos, nuestro hogar. Estoy muy agradecido y honrado que ustedes me seleccionaron. Espero que pueda marcar con este discurso, al menos más que Lionel Messi en este Copa Mundial. Y si puedo marcar quizás una mitad de Harry Kane, de Cristiano Ronaldo o pues de Inés Arimadas eh, en las últimas elecciones, quizás se puede decir que mi discurso hoy tendrá un impacto. Para aquellos aquí que solamente hablan castellano, volveré con un poquito más tarde. Por el momento, por favor, si no os importa, me gustaría dirigirme a mis compañeros graduados en inglés. It honestly feels like yesterday when many of us first met at uh, eBay Welcome Day. Professor Kisak, as Professor Gallego earlier mentioned, had us mention one unique thing about ourselves. No one could figure out the Wi-Fi. And I, meanwhile, picked up dragon breath after spreading the entire bit of garlic paste across my fideo. Fast forward nine months, and perhaps not much has changed. Exams are barely finished. Theses still need to be written. And many of us are still praying each time we hit send on a job application. Today, supposedly, we get a master's degree. And in spite of everything, I'm convinced that we're ready. In my view, for us, this past year has been a story of exposure. In photographic terms, as Nadine and Martin will tell you, exposure is the amount of light that you allow into your camera. Our story of exposure is not that different. It's the kind where we put ourselves out there, risking what we know and who we are in front of people, places, and experiences the likes of which we have never encountered. We came here to earn a master's degree, but in the process exposed ourselves to so much more. And in doing so together, we've become better people along the way. Our eyes and ears, for example, have laid witness to the trials and tribulations between Catalonia and Spain in what has been a heated period. Understatement of the year, I'm sure. By show of hands, guys, how many of us here attended a manifestación, a demonstration of some kind in the past year? This image, ladies, someone take this picture, please. This image speaks for itself. If my fellow graduates, you are on the eBay Hangout WhatsApp group. I encourage you to open up the Photos folder, scroll up to the very top, and tap the eighth photo from the beginning. You'll see what I think is Jose's best work this past year, a photo of a clearly disgruntled Connor navigating a packed pro-independence demonstration. Look it up. It's fantastic. And perhaps more importantly, although it's hard to be more important than Connor the president. Look at the photos immediately before and after. You see groups of eBay students taking in the moment and getting to know one another. These were early days, but already we were exposing ourselves to everything Barcelona had to offer. Hitting a little closer to home, we exposed ourselves this year to this student room, which, as we all know, was more than just a room. It came complete with lions roaring, 
countless battles to open and close the windows. Connor, I'm still looking at you. And students switching between blank pages or their Facebook profile. The student room really had it all. If you wanted in on the next big conversation, you find Guillermo. If you wanted a copy of the newest edition of Argus, you find Mark, Hannah, James, or anyone else on the team. If you order that slick eBay shirt or sweater, you approach Alma or any of the student reps. If you were late to a brain stage interview, come in anyway, grab some food, take a seat, and Marta will make sure you're on the next Instagram story. Even the unexpected became something we looked forward to. One day, for example, in this room, I happened to turn around and find a lovely lady from Italy named Anna. I asked her out to coffee, and the rest, as they say, is history. Love, laughter, and lions. The student room was full of exposures we weren't always aware of, and yet it's helped shape our eBay experience. I'm going to go off script for a second. I didn't plan this part. Can someone help me? The bust of the person in the back, is this um, the late Francesc Rios y Taulet? Do we know? Anyone know? Anyone know? Well, let's imagine it is for a second, because he looks very familiar from some of the readings that I did in class. <laughs> um, it was a great class. I learned quite a bit. But the reason why I bring it up is because this man was so influential in bringing the World's Fair, what we know now as the Expo, to Barcelona in 1888. 120 years ago. Interestingly enough, despite all the efforts that he made, or rather, alongside all the efforts that he made, he called Filipinos, because I am from the Philippines, half savages. This is no disrespect to the late Francesc Rios y Taulet. Rather, it is a perspective, another bit of exposure, because now that half savage is right here. 120 years later. And it only adds to the honor that I have of speaking with you today. The fact that I didn't have to say a thing and all of a sudden I was voted to be your speaker today. It truly is a privilege. A big chunk of our experience, of course, happened in the classroom. International relations, international development, security, and public policy. Our growth across these four programs are at the core of eBay's raison d'etre. For me, it's a source of privilege and pride to have learned alongside you. I witnessed firsthand the brilliance of David, who is basically the next John Mearsheimer. Felipe, who is the post-structuralist we all need. And Anna and Michelle, who will advocate practice-based approaches like there is no tomorrow. The ways in which we've exposed ourselves within eBay's walls on a daily basis are near immeasurable. Even if you forgot what the core tenets of post-structuralism were, and you Googled it to ask a smart question for participation points, that's exposure too. In terms of the way in which we now see the world, though, we're no longer the same people as we were nine months ago. And if that's not exposure at its simplest, then I'm at a loss for what is. The list is long. I haven't even mentioned nights that start at Lupara and end at La Fira. Weekly football, which has happened at least 20 times and is still counting. Five editions of Argus, eight brain stage interviews, and rooftop celebrations with nonstop reggaeton. When we walk out of these doors as newly minted eBay alumni, we will continue adding to our own lists, fed by distinct paths of our own choosing. But no matter the places you go and the wonders you see, I urge us all to keep hold of the gift that our time at eBay has given us. A reminder that in the world full of exposure, there is immeasurable fulfillment in taking on that next step together. Presentaciones, papeles y exámenes son solamente la punta del iceberg. La magia de nuestra historia empieza con todo lo que hemos hecho aquí, continúa con el camino que vas a realizar y nunca termina 
si recordaremos que independientemente de lo que haréis en el futuro, es mejor hacerlo juntos. So before you disembark at your próxima estación o propera parada, look both ways. First, for the exposure. Second, for the company. Muchas gracias y que Dios os bendiga.